Hey all you cool cats, and welcome back to another episode of Trails in the Sky. It has been a very long time since I last recorded an episode, but I do remember the last thing I was going to do was go inside this hotel. Vern, I was wondering if I could ask you something. Is it true that people from the magazine company are staying here? Well, you're certainly right about that. Could you have some business with them? Actually, we're here representing the guild to cooperate with them on getting a story. Really, is that so? Then I regret to inform you that the both of them are out at the moment. Oh, well, do you know where they went? The reporter fellow said something about heading over to the bar. How about you try asking there? The bar? Got it, thanks! We appreciate the help. Is that you? Oh. Uh. Who are you kids supposed to be? Are you perhaps the reporter from the Liberal News? That's right, but how do you know that? I like getting the scoop on things, but I hate it when people try to pry into my life. What business do you have with me? We're here representing the Bracer Guild. We were told that you requested an escort. Oh, you finally come, have you? I've been waiting forever for you guys to show up. So, uh... Where's Cassius Bright? Um, well, the thing is, he had another job come up. So he's not even in Roland. W what? I came all the way here so I could get all a story on his famous bracer. Crap, what a waste this trip turned out to be. I don't get what you're so worried about, but there's no need to get your boxers in a bunch. We've got you covered. Because I don't have a choice. We'll have to do. Wait, what did you just say? Don't get your boxers in a bunch? No, the we got you covered part. What do you mean by that? It's just like Joshua said, we're your representative bracers. Oh, and here's our referral. Hand it over the guild referral. Hey, this got to be some kind of bad joke. Are you trying to tell me that you little brats are bracers? But brats... Is that how you're supposed to address a lady? What do you mean, lady? There's nothing sexy about you in that outfit. If you don't like my assessment, then how about slipping into a skirt and acting like the other girls your age? The- This clothing is specifically designed for those who wield a staff, and this looks like a skirt too. Are you blind? You're such a rude old man. <laughs> who are you calling an old man? I'm still in my 20s, damn it! Getting back to business, sir. The fact is, we were dispatched by the guild. I'd be more than happy to introduce you to someone else, but I don't know when they'll be free. Ah! I can't extend the deadline any longer, because I've got no other alternative. Alright, rejoice, you kids. I'm going to leave this up to you. What a generous old man you are. Easy, Estelle. I'm Joshua, and this here is Estelle. And you are... I'm Niall Burns, ace reporter for the Liberal News. Though we don't, though we won't be working long together, I hope you'll do a good job. <laughs> I'll be grateful when this is all over too. By the way, where is it exactly you wanted us to guide you to? The way I see it, you need a trusty guide because you're headed somewhere dangerous, right? Right. My destination is Esmeralda's Tower. I'm sure you've heard of it before. Ha! <laughs> That's it. Not only have we heard of it, we were there on a job not that long ago. Well, this just might work out after all. So what I really want you to do is guide us to the tower roof. I want to get a picture for the magazine. Well, aren't you the thrill seeker? By us, do you mean that someone else is coming along too? Yeah, I've got my camera woman with me. She said something about her orbal camera not working, so she took off to the orbal factory. But she should be back by now. If you're in a hurry, then wouldn't it be a good idea to head over there now? No doubt you're going to take off to get your story once you meet up with your partner, right? Yeah, that's true. Alright then, let's head over to the tower once we pick up my partner from the Orbal Factory. Oh, I like her already. Um, what voice should I give her? Should I give her, like, the Futaba voice? Wait, anything but that. 
I'll do anything you ask. Just please give me back my camera. It's worth more to me than my life. This is a problem. What should I do about this, Dad? You're the one who took on the job, so you're the one who has to deal with it. Mm, what's all the fuss about? Could this person be? That's her, all right. Hey, Dorothy! How long are you gonna keep me waiting? No! You came at just the right time! Please help me out here! What'd you do this time? You didn't waste all your money, so now you don't have enough for the repairs, do you? That's amazing! How did you guess? Are you like a clairvoyant or something? When you do the same thing that many times, even an idiot would know what's going on. Do you know this person? I'm sorry to ask this, but can I get you to pay the repair costs? Fine, but you'll need to write it off as a business expense. How much? Let's see. The decorative clock and repairs together are 2,000 Mira. Hold on! I can understand the repairs, but what's the deal with the decorative clock? Well, I was looking around the store and while he was doing the repairs, Anne, I saw a pretty clock and when I picked it up, it broke. But I'm glad we can write it off as a business expense. How wonderful is that? That kind of amount is not going to be covered? Crap. So I'm going to have to pay it out of my own pocket and get my money back later. Here's your 2,000 Mira. And this is your receipt. This is an unbelievably awkward combination if I've ever seen one. No doubt about that. The fact that he'll pay out of his pocket for someone means he's pretty nice. Probably pretty nice to work under. Sorry to keep you waiting, kids. Had to take care of a little trouble. Who are these kids now? They're the bracers who'll be acting as our escorts and guides. We'll be taking the place of Cassius Bright, with whom we'd originally made arrangements. These young kids are? I'm Estelle. It's nice to meet you. And I'm Joshua. So it's Estelle and Joshua, is it? You may be young, but you seem reliable. I'm Dorothy Hyatt. I'm the new camera woman for the Liberal News. At the moment, I'm training under Nell. Why'd well, get stuck babysitting this blockhead of a girl? That damn editor in chief. Relax, relax. Something good will come out of all of this soon enough. You're the one to talk. Never mind, just forget it. Now well, that we got everyone together, how about we go and get our story? Our destination is the Esmeralda's Tower, right? Alright, let's go! Right on! Hey, so we just go straight back to where we came from. I don't even remember exactly the way we came from. Was it this way? No, this is the landing port. Oh, I've got my map all spun around. So I don't really know how the trail series works. So I don't know, like, what sort of characters end up being in, like... Like, parties. You missed! Joshua! You're supposed to be, like, perfect! Wow! This tower is really tall. I wonder how many floors it has. The last time we were here, we only made it as far as the second floor. But judging from the scale, I'd say it's probably about five or six. It should be five. At least that's what it said in the book at home. It was investigated some time ago. Looks like it was abandoned after that. That reminds me, it seems like there are a number of other towers like this in Liberal. That's correct. There are towers similar to this one in Bose, Rouen, and Zeiss regions. They all seem to have been built around the time that the Liberal Kingdom was founded. Is that so? I think I'm starting to feel the history already. My job is to uncover the truth about them. Dorothy, give me a few long angle shots of this place. Sure! Here we go! Uh, amazing. Is a photographer's personality supposed to change by taking a camera in their hands like that? She certainly looks like a pro. Every time you try to take a picture like that, 
Quit trying to act professional and just get me a shot using your usual style. I guess I shouldn't try to tone down my style just to look good. Well, I guess I'll have to do it my usual way. Oh, looking good, looking good! Well, that's what I call sexy and cute. Here we go, say cheese! I don't get it. Why is she doing that when she's not taking photos of a person? Somehow it seems natural for her. She says that she can see the expression of the scenery, whatever that's supposed to mean. Hey, believe it or not, she takes some pretty breathtaking pictures acting all ridiculous like that. I guess it could be considered a type of genius. The kind that's borderline insane, though. Wow, people sure are never what they seem to be. Okay, I'm all done here. Alright then, let's get inside. Ready for the roof, counting on you two greenhorns. You just leave it to us. We won't let any monsters lay a single paw on you. Please make sure to keep close behind us. Tear bomb. Oh wait. You already got the treasure, don't be greedy. <laughs> Knitted shoes. You already took everything it has to offer. What more do you want? Um. Ooh, I want treasure. Keep going what I would call the right way, which is the wrong way when you want treasure. Knock this one away. Hold that pose. Oof. Oh my gosh. Leave Joshua alone. Get out of here. Ah, okay, this is the wrong way. Wait, what? No! I was tricked! Crap. Good. Oh 
my goodness. Ten staff. Apparently someone already looted this chest now. Who could that be? Right. Oh my god, look at all these enemies. shouldn't be alive. I protest. Here's that one. Oh my gosh. I was about to kill her. Let me have my turn. I cannot miss. Oh no. The thing might. Oh, thank you for pushing him over here. I really need him to reach that one. Yes. Oh my god. I was scared I would miss that attack and it would just move around. Alright, go up. Asmelis Tower Roof. Wow, it's bright out here. It looks like we finally made it to the rooftop. Would you look at that beautiful scenery? Now this is something else. Looks like we'll be able to get a better shot than I had originally anticipated. And that's the thing I was telling you about earlier. I wonder what that's supposed to be exactly. It looks like a giant orb mint operated cauldron if you ask me. According to my sources, it's some sort of ancient device. Although nobody seems to know exactly what it's used for. Hmm. Hey Joshua, did you know something like this was up here? Joshua? It's no use hiding. I think it would be wise to come out where we can see you. Huh? Please don't hurt me. I'll come out already. I'm coming out right now. Who is this guy? So somebody arrived before we did, huh? What a surprise that was. Nice find, Joshua. And you are. I apologize. Please forgive me. I'll give you every last mirror I have. Please spare my life. Look here, buddy. Please don't mistake us for robbers or something weird. You do recognize this emblem, don't you? I still showed the man her guild emblem. Wait, isn't that the Bracers Guild's? So, you're trying to tell me that you're bracers? In the flesh. I'm Estelle and this is Joshua. And we're here as reporters from the Liberal News. We're having these two provide us our escort so we can get coverage on the tower. I'm relieved to hear that. Please don't ever scare me like that again. The fact that you came up here like that made me suspicious of you all. Look who's talking. You seem like quite the suspicious fellow yourself. Do you mind telling us who you are exactly? I apologize for my belated introduction. My name is Alba, and I am an archaeologist. I came to investigate the tower in order to further my research of ancient civilizations. All, al All alone? I'm surprised you made it here in one piece. <laughs> uh, somewhat. But actually, I've grown accustomed to investigating ruins like these. You see, I've got a lot of confidence in my ability to flee from monsters if need be. Although, this time I found myself in quite of a pickle. You're one crazy scholar, if you ask me. However, being an archaeologist would mean that you're familiar with the tower's origins, right? Well, more than the average person, anyway. Since I've only begun my investigation, there's still a lot of things I don't know myself. That's fine, but is there anything interesting you could tell us about this place? It'll be used for an article. Let's see... Has everyone heard of Septarians before? I think Father Divine maybe said something about that before. You mean the seven treasures endowed with power and bestowed upon the ancients by Eidos, right? That's exactly what I'm referring to. It seems these ancients ruled the earth, 
seas and skies using the powers of these treasures. It also been written that they were a even able to unlock the secrets of time and life. Approximately 1,200 years ago, when this ancient civilization was destroyed by a mysterious calamity, these Septarians were also lost. That is the legend that also recorded in the scriptures of the Septian Church. What does that have to do with this tower? A part of the legend states that one of the Septarians slumbers somewhere within Liberal. Its name, the Ariel. The Ariel? Well, the word certainly has a strange ring to it. If the legend is really true, I figure I might be able to find some clues here at the tower since it's one of the oldest ruins in all of the Liberal. So I came out to investigate. Oh, what an inspiring story! It is, isn't it? You can feel my passion for the things of antiquity, right? This is splendid! I am overjoyed that there's someone who understands the way I feel! So, did you find any of those clues you were looking for? I I'm still working out on that part. If I can figure out how this device works, I might be on to something. I think it's an interesting story, but as it stands, it's a speculative one. From what you've told me, I'm sorry to say it wouldn't fly as an article. I see. That's extremely disappointing to hear. I'm surprised myself. Contrary to my expectations, you are serious about the articles you write. <laughs> That's because I can't write articles based on uncertain news sources. We may run the occasional gossip column, but it's the policy of liberal news to verify our information. That aside, let's get what we came here for, shall we? Dorothy, I want you to take several pan panorama shots of the Roland region. Everything else I'll leave up to your aesthetic touch. Now get out there and get me some good pictures. Understood. Your apprentice Dorothy Hat is ready for action. And as for you, Mr. Archaeologist, how about heading back to town with us when we're done here? These two kids may look like a couple of brats, but they do a pretty fine job as escorts. Something about the way you said that makes me feel like it wasn't a compliment. If it's alright with you having me along, then far more than I could ask for. But I guess it's decided. So how about we take a break until Dorothy finishes getting her shots? Wow, the view is great from here. From this height, I can see all of Roland. With scenery this good, if someone turned this place into a tourist spot, they'd probably make a boatload of Mira. Yeah, you're probably right about that. What's wrong? You look a little pale. I can't hide anything from you, can I? After we stepped onto the roof, I just started feeling a little woozy. Are you going to be okay? Yeah, I think I'll be alright once I get a bit of fresh air. Why don't you make the best of this opportunity and have a look around yourself? But, but broadening one's knowledge during a time like this is part of being a bracer. If you come across of anything interest, then you can tell me about it later, alright? Sometimes you can be such a smooth talker, you know that? Alright, I'll have a look around. But if you start to feel any worse, you let me know, okay? Sure. How are you feeling, Joshua? It's a little bit woozy. I'll be resting here a little longer, so why did you keep looking around? Okay, if you insist. I wanted to make sure there wasn't any extra dialogue. Oh, hi there. Still, was it? Is your partner feeling alright? Yeah, he said he just wants to get a little bit of fresh air. See, there certainly is a nice breeze up here, isn't there? I want to say, however, that I'm impressed with the both of you are bracers at such a young age. If I remember correctly, one must be at least 16 years of age to qualify to become a bracer, right? You sure know your stuff! And that's right, I'm exactly 16 myself. How nice it is to be young. There are limitless possibilities at that age. If I were about 10 years younger, I'd solve the mysteries of all these ancient ruins across the entire continent with these very hands. The entire continent, huh? That's a pretty tall order. Which means that you're not from Liberal, right? No, I was born in the north. But just for the record, I'm not from Erebonia. Erboni <laughs> you don't have to worry about that. Although I hate war with a passion, that hatred isn't directed at the people of the Empire. You lost someone dear to you? Yeah, my mother. 
Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bring up any painful memories. It's okay, it happened more than ten years ago. And since then, there's been a new addition to my family. Oh, you mean that boy over there? Yeah, he's like a little brother. Although he's probably trying to act more like an older brother. Haha. <laughs> I wonder why I'm telling you all this. Usually this isn't the kind of thing a person tells others. It's perfectly fine. Aren't good relations such a good thing? A wonderful thing? Blah. Oh, Estelle! This place is wonderful, isn't it? I'm even starting to wonder if number of photo cards is going to be enough. The scenery sure is great, like you say. By the way, what's a photo quartz? It's an ultra-thin crystal circuit fabricated from septium. It's set up so that you can take a photograph by burning it with light. That's just what I expect from a camera woman. Someone who knows the tools of the trade. Hee <laughs> That reminds me. What's the deal with Joshua? Well, he says he's getting some fresh air. A raven-haired young man standing silently in the flowing breeze. I think I could take a really good picture with that kind of a setting. Do you think he'd let me snap a shot of him if I asked? He doesn't seem to be a fan of that kind of stuff. I think he'd probably turn you down. Aw, oh, well, what a waste. He's probably just shy, right? Hmm. Joshua's pretty mysterious. <laughs> oh man, the taste of cigarette is wonderful. Blah. I mean, teach their own, but blah. Uh, okay, what was I saying? At first, I wasn't in the mood to come do a story in a rural place like Roland, but sometimes these place types of places aren't so bad. If you want to be rude like that, then maybe you shouldn't have come at all. No can do. This was a direct order from the editor-in-chief to teach that blockhead girl a thing or two. Otherwise, I'd be all over the kingdom searching for the latest scoop right now. When you say scoop, don't you mean gossip for your next article? Not that I have anything against gossip, but reportage is predominantly greater. And in that sense, the place that has my interest peaked is Bose. The Bose region? Did something happen there? A number of large burglary burglaries to have taken place one after another. The identity of the criminals is on loan, but it seems as though the group has got a pair of wings. Wings? Oh, I see an airship, right? What are they, sky bandits or something? That seems to be the most logical conclusion. But there's also a possibility that there could be an imitative deception by the Arobian Empire. What? That's impossible. We're supposed to have peace treaty with them. Sure, but the Empire incurred some heavy losses during the war ten years ago. They can't do much now that every other nation on the continent has their eye on them, but it could be a way to get back at us. That said, nobody knows for sure, which is why our job as reporters is to bring these things to light. Are you still feeling sick, Jock Ishua? No, I'm much better. I should be good to head back whenever everybody's ready. I'm relieved to hear that. What brought all this on, anyway? Dad was a lack of oxygen in the tower because the rest of us are alright. Maybe it was a sudden fear of heights? I, I don't think so. Estelle! Joshua! Are you finished taking pictures? You bet I am! And I got a lot of good ones, too! It looks like we're done here. How about we head back to town? Alright, Greenhorns, lead the way! I'm counting on you children. Oh, do I have to protect three of them now? Oh, good. We just flash cut to the... to town. <laughs> um, thank you so much for escorting me back here. This is the first time I've ever been able to make it back from some ruins without being chased or bitten or... I don't know where to begin to express my appreciation. You don't need to thank us. It's our duty as bracers. I think you're... I think you'd be better off hiring some bracers to begin next time you go off to investigate some ruins. My head says yeah, but my my head says yes, but my wallet says no. I'll try and save up a bit though. I'll have a wonderful day, and I hope we can all meet again. I think it's about time we said goodbye as well. I was a bit nervous at first, but you kids did a fine job. Let me just say thank you to the both of you. <laughs> That's what I like to call raw skill. Don't you get all cocky on me. Bracers I know 
would make you two look like fledglings. I'm not ready to leave the nest. You're going to need to work harder. I'll try to remember that. So are the two of you headed back to the company soon? Nah, we're going to spend a day or so relaxing here in Roland. I need to write up a rough draft for some articles and such. I'll head over to the Orbal factory and get these photographs developed. Take it easy, you two. I guess this is the last of the jobs we got from Dad. They weren't much tougher than I thought they'd be. I agree with you there. I feel like I have a greater awareness now for what it means to be a bracer. It's not just about fighting for justice. There you go again, saying all the right things. But yeah, I guess I get where you're coming from. It seems like we've got a long road ahead of us if we want to succeed in this profession. For the time being, why don't we report to the guild? That sounds like a good idea. Oh, but before we go, how are you doing? Still not feeling well? Thanks for asking, but I'm feeling a lot better. All right. Huh. Okay, cool. I'm still up to date on all these. Oh, Estelle and Joshua. Shara, what are you doing here? This is a rare occasion. You're usually out and about. I just finished the jobs I took on. I just finished the jobs I took over for your father, and I was reporting to the guild. So you finished your load too, huh? Somehow or other, I guess. I heard from Ina that you guys aren't doing too bad yourselves. I guess everything I went through to train the two of you has amounted to something. <laughs> We're grateful, too. Well, I guess we'll report in as well, then. Go ahead. Let's hear what you've got. Receive the payment for the liberal media. Ooh, rank advancement to Junior Bracer, 7th class. Received an Eagle Eye Quartz as a perk. Good work, you two. How about you, Sher Sahar? Don't you think they've done a fine job? For a bunch of newbies, you did an average job. But you shouldn't be satisfied with that level of work. Especially you, Estelle. You was the first to get on the high horse of yours. Okay, okay, I get it already. Great work, all of you. I'm surprised that you were able to fill the work gap left by Cassius so quickly. I wonder if we'll be able to relax for a bit now. I don't know. I can imagine that the downtime might be a bit of a drag. Well... That won't be a problem since there are plenty of other small jobs like patrolling the roll roads and exterminating monsters. <laughs> it's been a while since I've been able to take a break. Alright, it's time for my reward. I'm going to drink until I can't drink anymore tonight. Estelle, Joshua, you two join me as well. <laughs> you have to watch you get plastered and make a fool of yourself? Oh, so what you're saying is that you're turning down my invitation? You got a lot of nerve to do something like that to your mentor. What am I supposed to say? Your drinking habits are intolerable. You cause a ruckus, dance like a maniac, and try to strip in public. Agreed. It's pretty embarrassing. Shares a heart. Just where do you think you're going to take these underage kids? Come on, the alcohol is what makes things entertaining. But if you're so against coming along with me, then I guess I don't need you, Estelle. Really? Yep. Instead, I'll just have Joshua make up for your absence. Why me? Um, Shara? N now hold on a minute! <laughs> Joshua, you look like you'll make a fine companion. Whether we're talking booze or something else behind closed doors, I'll help break you in. B break me in? Alright, you big pervert, Joshua! Why are you drooling like that? It's not what you think. We've got a major problem. Huh? Mayor Klaus? <laughs> so, Joshua and Sherzard, I'm glad to see you. Saved by the bell. What's wrong, sir? Why are you in such a hurry? This is terrible. My home disaster. It's gone. What? All right, calm down, Mayor Klaus. Take a deep breath and let it out. Ha. <sighs> ha. <sighs> Apparently, it seems as though my home was robbed while I was out. 
What? That's not being calm at all, Estelle. I had something to speak with Father Divine about, so I was over at the chapel end. When I came home, it was rather odd for no one to greet me at the door, so I looked around and the rooms were in a great state of disarray. Wait, what about your wife and Lita? Don't worry, they're both fine. I found them locked up in the attic room. That's a relief to hear. It's lucky that no harm came to anyone. Won't get us anywhere just sitting around here. So could you take us to the crime scene, Mayor Klaus? Absolutely. I appreciate your co cooperation. Wait for me, I'm coming too. Good idea. May be able to be of some help. Well, if you insist. Aina, we'll be at the mayor's place investigating the incident. If you have anything come up, just toss it on Ridge's shoulders. I'm sure he's just relaxing at the bar anyway. Yes, I'll do that. And everyone be careful. Yeah, they broke into that safe. That's what I was expecting, too. Wow, this place is an absolute mess. The crooks really tore through here. Look at the safe! The septum, which was supposed to be given to Her Majesty the Queen, has been stolen. I'm really sorry, especially after having you go through all the trouble to bring it here. It's not you who should be apologizing. It's the crooks who who are in the wrong. By the way, how are the other rooms in the house? The other rooms have, for the most part, appear to have been left untouched. They're about as messy as the attic room which my wife and Lita were locked up in. Hmm. Estelle, Joshua, there's something I want you to do. Which is? I'll speak to the mayor about the incident. I want you two to check out the inside of the house. You mean, like... An on-site investigation? Are you sure we're up to the task? Since we're all here, splitting up would be the best way to cover the most ground, no? Alright, we'll see what we can do. Proceed carefully and deliberately. Alright, Mayor Klaus. How about we talk in the parlor? Sure. Now where to begin? An on-site investigation, huh? I'm starting to get butterflies in my stomach. How about we start from this room? Let's not forget to ask for witness statements from the other residents. Sounds like a plan! Oh my gosh, this music! Amazing. I want to save in case, uh... There's like some sort of crazy boss fight that's supposed to happen. So I guess we'll look at the window first. Oh, the spot's been tipped over, but nothing's inside. It looks like it only tipped over after being hit by something with force. The gift we delivered to the mayor for the queen is... Those crooks are not going to get away with this. It doesn't look like they jimmied the door either. They must have decrypted the combination and opened it or... Could they really have cracked the combination? not impossible, but I imagine that it'll be difficult for anyone besides a skilled pro. My best guess is that they figured out the combination using a much simpler means. What do you mean by simpler means? Well, let's see. They could have, for example, dusted the buttons with a special powder. A powder like that would have absorptive properties, and due to its fineness, it would be invisible to the naked eye. However, if a blue light were placed over it, it would glow. All right, and? and? Let's imagine for a minute that the mayor entered the combination with the powder present. The powder on the buttons would stick to his fingers and come off. That would be one way to know which buttons were pressed. Now wait a minute! Wouldn't they still not know the order in which the buttons were pressed? That's not exactly the case. As the powder collected on the fingers increased, the amount taken from the buttons would decrease. In other words, the crooks could press the buttons in the order starting from the least luminescent. It might be a little more difficult if there were duplicate numbers, but the crooks should be able to make a pretty good guess as to what they are. That makes sense. Joshua, are you a genius or something? That's just basic knowledge. Anyway, let's check out the buttons. Just as I thought, the powder was used. There's no doubt in my mind that the safe was opened using the same method I just explained. Oh, right. Now the big question is, who 
dusted the buttons with that powder. You know it would have to be at least someone who had visited the residence. Right. Now figuring who that is, that's going to be the tricky part. Look, there are some marks on the, this railing. You're right, and they're fresh too. Looks like something metal dug into the wood. Well, I guess that was how they climbed in. This place is torn apart. Lena would probably faint if she saw this. It looks like all the books on the shelf have been scattered about the room. It seems kind of senseless to have done all this. Hmm. So was it done just to make it look like it was a burglary? There are several documents inside the drawer. They don't appear to have been disturbed. They seem to be documents regarding Roland's city government. The fact that these are as they are suggests there was no political aim involved. It's just like the mayor to have a ton of difficult books like this. He's got some valuable antique books here as well. The criminals either had no idea about the value of the books or... They didn't care. This is just a clutter box, right? It's empty as well. The box lock looks like it was burned off. The criminals may have used an horrible gun. Oops. Okay, that's the same line for there. So I think... Did I look at everything in this room? Yeah, I'd say I'd investigated everything in this room. Um, I had such a scare. I was cleaning up the attic when suddenly a bunch of masked men came barging in. Masked men, huh? That means it wasn't a one-person job. How many people were in the group? I'd probably guess about three or four. Oh, that reminds me. One of them was short. It might have even been a girl. Interesting. Are you all right, ma'am? Yes, I'm fine. The intruders weren't violent towards us. Is there anything you notice particular about the intruders? They were wearing masks, so I wouldn't be able to tell you any specific features. That reminds me, I'm certain the front door was locked. I locked the door just to be safe since my husband had gone to the chapel and there were just the two of us here. I wonder how in the world they got in. Yeah, from the, they came in from the outside. Um... Huh? What's this? Found a severus leaf. Don't you think it's a bit strange for a leaf to be in a place like this? On top of that, it's not a type that grows around here. You're sharp, Estelle. This is the place where the residents were locked up. It was probably dropped by one of the criminals as they were locking everybody up. So it's a key piece of material evidence, right? said that the door was locked at the time of the burglary, right? Doesn't look like the lock's been broken either. Which means they got in another way. Okay. I think I've uncovered everything. I don't know if that's... I don't know how much this is required to me to do, so I'm just gonna go ahead and save again. <laughs> I had the mayor run me through all the details. How about you two? Did you find anything? Yep, we found lots of new evidence. Alright, then let's check the details one by one and see what you came up with. First off, what were the criminals after? The septium in the safe. Surely. How many of them were there? There was a group of three or four. Where did they get into the house from? Uh, 
Ah, in front of the terrace on the second floor. Point blank. What is the portrait of the thought to have committed, committed the crime? Citizens coming and going through the day. Relatives of Mayor Klaus. Someone who works at the Malga Mine. A traveler who visited recently. No, no, no. So it must be a traveler because it came from somewhere not from this region. I would have assumed maybe the Malga Mine dude. But I'm guessing it's actually a traveler. Wow, you did a good job investigating. Looks like we'll be able to specify who the criminals are with this information. Mayor Klaus. Over the past two or three days, have you had any new faces in your study? When you put it that way, there, I guess there have been a number of people. The reporter from the magazine company was one. Oh, so those two came to for a visit to you too, huh? At the time of the crime, they were with us at Esmela's Tower. I think we can cross them off as the list of subjects. Suspects. I see. So, Mayor Klaus, were there any others? Other than that, there was only Josette. <laughs> but let's not kid ourselves here. <laughs> I think it'd be a bit of a stretch for her to be our thief. After all, she's a student at the Royal Academy. Criminals aren't always dressed so they can be easily spotted. As for a school uniform, if someone put their mind to it, they could create a replica. But I'm telling you, she was a really nice girl. She was modest and courteous. Right, Joshua? Sorry to say this, but I completely disagree. Huh? During the time when the mayor put the septium into the safe, the girl's eyes lit up like a hunter's, eyeing her prey. Of course, since I had no conclusive evidence, I couldn't call her out on it. But at least to me, she didn't look like an ordinary student. Y you must be joking. Unbelievable. At any rate, it looks like we're going to have to ask the girl a few questions. You wouldn't happen to know where she is, would you? If I remember right, she should be staying at the hotel. But she said something about taking off from Roland sometime today. Oh, it looks like we're going to have to hurry then. Estelle, Joshua, let's try the hotel first. Right. Understood. I guess she's not here anymore. Or was she downstairs and my memory's just bad? Nope. Okay, so... I might have to talk to this guy. But still, Joshua, and even Sherzard, something the matter. Do you remember a girl named Josette? She's a student from the Royal Academy who was staying here. Of course I remember her, but she checked out just a moment ago. Shoot, we're a minute too late. Let's hurry to the landing port. Might be able to catch her there. She really didn't seem like a bad girl. Uh, landing port. Oh, right. It was straight ahead, wasn't it? But please excuse the delay. The airliner should be arriving any time now, so please be patient. Yo, Helen. It's us, if you haven't noticed. What's you guys? Oh, and Sherzahard, too. Thank Eidos for the Feast of the Eyes. So, uh, what's up? You didn't by chance happen to see a girl in a school uniform around here, did you? A girl in a school uniform? A school uniform from where? From the Genus Royal Academy. Oh, baby, those uniforms are so hot. The contrast of the neatly pleated white skirts and navy blue socks. Oh, yes, I can totally see them now. I totally forget what the boys' uniforms look like, though. This is one obsession I just don't get. Thus defineth the man's eternal struggle. Back on topic here. So you didn't see a girl in a Royal Academy uniform? Nope, not this month. And believe me, I watch for those. I check all the passengers boarding and disembarking, so I can tell you at least she hasn't come here. Which means she came to Roland along the roads without using an airliner. This complicates things search field suddenly got much bigger. Come to think of it, there must be others. So they gotta be hiding somewhere. Oh, wait! That reminds me! What does this sell? Pull out the surveys leaf. I almost forgot that we found this. Could this be some sort of clue? Alright, we did find that. Shara, do you know of any places nearby where Severus se surveys trees grow? 
survey trees, huh? Pretty soon they grow in this wall to south of Roland. This wall, the forest in the opposite direction from home is Roland, right? Seems like it's worth looking into. That settles it. Let's head up the highway through Roland South Gate. You're really excited, aren't you? Well, whatever it is, good luck. Aha, all right. We're on the case. All right, so. I was about to say we're gonna stop, but here we go. <laughs> Wait up, you're running like a crazy lunatic. Who could just walk at a time like this? Oh. Ah, it's them. <laughs> Maybe I should think about cutting back on those blasted cigarettes. What are you two up to? You kids again, huh? Actually, we gotta get to Boze ASAP. But the airliner's not even here yet. I know, that's why we're heading there on foot. It'll take some time, but it's not a distance that we can't cover by ourselves. Well, don't wear yourselves out too badly. By the way, are you after a scoop or something? Yeah, and the mother of all scoops, too. No time to talk. We've got to make it there today. I wonder if Meow's going to be all right. See you later, Estelle. Joshua. Well, aren't they a lively pair? Friends of yours? They were the reporters from one of the jobs Dad asked us to take over. I wonder what's going on. Mmm, we got some, getting some bad juju vibes. Alright, so hold on. I didn't mean to go in there. I wanted to make sure we didn't get any. Okay, no new quests. Alright, so this is a good place to stop. I'm going to continue and we're going to go and catch, uh, hopefully catch the people trying to steal that septium. I um, hope you guys are excited to see Trails in the Sky returning again at last. I know that quite a few people were really wanting me to play this game. They love this game and I am I'm, I'm happy to be playing it again. But I'm going to stop this episode here and we will see what's going on here next time in the next episode. Bye bye!